it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today we are continuing to work on this Autumn Bloom Journal. Um, again, we're using the kit from Liana Scrap that's available over on Etsy. Uh, I just love her designs and her kits are always at a great price point. So we still need to decorate the front of this journal. And I have the signatures all done. Um, but not sewn in. So this is what I ended up doing off camera. I roughed up all the edges and inked all the edges and it took a lot of time but it is so worth it. I just love how the edges of these pages look. I'm um, yeah super super thrilled with that. I don't know if you can see it but yeah so I have three signatures. I ended up doing another signature because this is so wide. It needs to have three. So sew three of those in at a nice kind of space between there. But for the front, I wanted to show you or step through with you, do this on camera of what I, what I kind of had envisioned. So I've gone ahead and I think on the last video I talked about the die cuts that I have. This one is from um, Elizabeth Crafts and so I just stacked two together. Uh, the stitched one is the really the one that I wanted and so it cut out a frame like this and then it's got the little stitch marks in there and then it pops out one of these. And then this has the little little holes in, in it, the, the dots, which is great because uh, we can use this as like a little piece of ephemera, journaling card. Um, I can even maybe um, off camera stitch around the edges and just give it a, again a little more interest. So I have these and then I did the same thing with the, oh here they are, with the wonky stitched frames from uh, My Favorite Things. And then again, you get another piece like this out of it with the little stitching around. Again, super cute for a journaling card or a piece of ephemera. So I have a bunch of these because I cut out uh, quite a few so that I could stack them together. Um, stack the frames together to give it a little bit more thickness so that my inside piece that I want can slide nicely through. So I have this beautiful color here. I don't know what you would call it, but it is just from a Recollections paper pack. I think it was like spiced something. It's a fall paper pack. Um, but guys, just use what you have. You don't have to go out and buy special stuff. Again, this is, you know, cardstock I have for when I make cards. So, you know, it works really, really quite well. I thought it looked nice. See if it looks nice on camera. Yeah, it's a little, it looks a little different on camera, but it goes, it goes quite well in, in real life. So, okay, so let's get moving on this. So yeah, I want this on the front and then I want, what did I do with my other ones? These ones here, I cut so that I can sandwich in between the laminated piece with the flowers in it. So and this will this should slide in quite nicely once I stack these up. I'm gonna cut cut the um, tops off so that'll slide nicely, I think. Um, or maybe not. We'll see. Uh, so let's where do we want to begin? I think we should begin doing the laminating. Okay, so let's move our frames off to the side. I hope you guys are all doing well and are able to get creative today with me. So this is just a piece of laminate paper that I got at Staples and I'm using my Scotch laminator. I just got this off of Etsy. I had a different one uh, that I had for my mom, but it, it died a slow death because I used it like you wouldn't believe. So I've just got this heating up and now we'll have to decide how big. 
So I'm just going to take this piece here. This will give me an idea. And it's connected on one end. I think it's connected on this edge here. It's just, yeah, it's split apart here. So I think what I want to do is it'll just be easier if I work. Oh, okay, here's the issue. I have little bits of paper on my on my desk and the static electricity of this is kind of gathering all that up. But, well, what do you do? So, I think what I want to do is actually put this frame right in here so that I know where to lay out my, my, um, oh, little botanicals, the dried flowers. So I'm going to need some tweezers and here are my little botanicals. So I've got one kind of rogue one here. Um, and then I have these. So with this, I'm just trying to see what colors would look good with with this. Um, so I see this big leaf here. So this big leaf intrigues me. I need to actually keep these off of this paper here, this, this laminate, just so it doesn't stick or anything. So if I put, is there a right way and a wrong way? Kind of. If I put that in there. Let's try to use our tweezers. So if I have that back there, I just kind of want to create like a little specimen card. So if I lay that, I kind of like these yellowish flowers, but I also like these little delicate red ones. Oh, this is tricky because I don't want to get these all over the place, but I want to get at the ones that I want. Okay. Oops. Got to be very, very careful with these. Let's grab this. I might be able to use that. Okay, I like that. I also like this piece here. Let's see. What if we had that? You know what? I'm going to move this frame for a second. If we had that kind of peeking up behind the leaf. And then just kind of getting an idea here of how I want to frame it out. Okay. Very tricky. Okay, I like that. So I don't think I need this guy. I'll put him back over here. And then maybe I actually like these orange flowers. So let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open. I think I'll just cut along the side here. And that'll let me just sneak these guys out. Hopefully without getting all the other ones out. I like it, I like it. Come on. Hmm. I mean, I like threes, like three is a good number, but I just don't know. Well, the yellow one would be better. Oh, this is such delicate work. There's a reason why I'm not a surgeon. I was I was not the best at uh, operation that game. 
Okay. What else do we have? We have these little things. They kind of remind me of fireworks. Put that. Now again, I need to kind of think in terms of this going to be over top. I think that's quite pretty. Maybe if I tuck that in there, and maybe this one over here. Oops, tore a little piece of that off. Oh well. Guess it wasn't meant to be. Okay. And then I want another one of the little white. I don't know. I I want to say it's. I guess I don't think it's baby's breath, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. I want to tuck that one right under there. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, that's good. Let's try and get all these pieces back in here. I don't know what I did with the envelope for this one. Probably, probably accidentally threw it out, which is not the smartest, but... Okay, so I'll set these aside. Okay, now I'm going to take this frame off. Then hold my breath, fold this over, okay, is that going to work? Yep, okay, so what I also need to do is just trim this down. Now these two pieces are going to be loose from each other because it's of course attached here that's okay doesn't bother me I can put them together make use of them just going to carefully cut down here probably should have cut it down before I put the flowers in there but, you know I like to do things the hard way might have to reorganize these just a titch after I cut this, but that's okay too. Am I getting my head in the way? Sorry. Okay, so let's peel this back and just do a little bit of readjusting very carefully. It really is piddly, delicate work, but again, so worth it. Once it's done. Oh, I don't want that. I just want the orange one. Oh, come on. Okay, I like you there, and I want you up a bit. Okay, I think that is good. So we'll fold this over. Perfect. Ooh, I need a piece of paper to run it through. And I just have some, uh, have some scrap paper here. This is just like photocopy paper. Just fold it in half so that I can use it as a carrier sheet to run through the machine. Okay, I'll put this in here. And let's bring our laminator over. And we'll run it through. Get that in there. Okay. 
holding my breath. Are you going through? Why are you not going through? Okay. Let's do it this way. Oh, I know why. Blah. <laughs> Let's maybe open this up so that the paper can come out. Oh, wouldn't that be an idea? Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. It's been a while since I've used my laminator, so I've got to remind myself. Are you going through? Oh, come on now. Why aren't you working? I did the things. Oh, do you want to know why? Because I'm feeding it the wrong way. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I, I haven't even been drinking. This is the sad part. Okay, so let's put it through this way. Okay. <laughs> I bet you guys were like, um, hello. Wrong way, Sherlock. Okay. So this I can just put back in my little container with all my other laminating pouches. And let's see, fingers crossed that this works. Doesn't take too long. There we go. Open this up. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, not sure why it did that. That's okay, we're gonna trim that off anyways. And yay, look at that. Can you see that? Put that on there. Doesn't that look cute? And then once we get the other, oops, the other frame and stuff on. Okay, so we've done that. Now we're gonna trim this up. like so and then we're going to add our little frame around it oh did i cut too close i might have cut too close we'll have to add a bit of maybe a bit of glue because there's a little little edge of, on here that you're not supposed to cut into but i like it trimmed nice and neat so you might have to add should be okay. Okay. Throw this in the garbage. And now we can add. So this is going to be what slides in to the pocket like this. But we need to put these frames on it because I wanted this just to be. Oh, help me lay out the flowers as well as be like a little bit of a spacer. So now we're going to glue these on over top and we're going to use our glitter glue for that. Now we want enough that it seals but we don't want it to squish out onto the laminate itself. So putting it a little closer to the outside edge in case it does squidge a bit that it will Hopefully not squidge onto that window, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Okay. And, uh, hmm. I also want a tab. I need a tab. What do I need? I want, um, there should be something in the kit that we're using. And I have the ephemera pieces right here somewhere there we go autumn blooms that's what it is okay so there should be some tabs in here so i just yeah i spent a lot of time fussy cutting out all the pieces to these journal kits which is great because they're ready to go but i just need to find i'm positive there's little tabs in here Little tab toppers. Yeah. Okay, so there's those. If 
thought they were the whale tail kind, but nope, this works just as well. Um, I feel like there should be more. So let me just take these out onto the side here. There's one. And I feel like there should be one more. So we've got lots of tags, envelopes. Ooh, little embellishments. I feel like there should be one more in here. Pockets. Okay, one more. Is that all we have to choose from? I guess so. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's just fine and dandy. Put this in here. Now we just need to figure out what we like best. So we have that one. I wonder, are you guys like too far away? If I bring you in a little bit, is that better? And I know I've got like glaring from that laminate, but I can't really help that. So, okay. So we have this which I don't mind. And we have this one. Which I like even better. So I'm going to keep that one to the side. I think I like that one better than the butterflies. This kit is so amazing, you guys. Oh, Yeah, it's this one. Okay. With that said... We need to ink up the tab. Well, I guess you don't have to, but I like to. And I like the inking of the edges. And so I have, like, this is gonna, going to be a heavily inked one. Obviously, you saw the pages. So, you know, I kind of want to keep with, with that theme of the inked up edges. And try and get in the little nooks and crannies. There we go. So what have you guys been up to? Are you working on any interesting projects or pieces of ephemera? Or are you doing journals? Or are you doing something else? I'm always interested to know. So leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing and what you're working on. Okay, so this we're going to fold. This is just out of um, uh, to do, do, do the laser print paper. So a little heavier than copier paper but not as thick as like a cardstock and then I think what I need to do do I have my little fussy cut scissors my little color bee scissors which are my favorite little cutting scissors nope 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 I don't because this doesn't really my cutting isn't the best here, so let's see if I can even this up. Make it look a little less shoddy. Yeah, that's okay. Just finish inking, and then we'll glue this down. Okay, and then I want this to glue here. And now let's pick up the one that's not glued and then if we do we want it glued underneath like this or do we want it over top I don't know what do you guys think There's over top and behind. I kind of like it over top, so there's that. Let's go with that. Now, again, this glue is probably dried. Oh, and I didn't put the pin back in. When will I ever learn? Okay, I love this glue so much. I love it so much that I am willing to fight with it. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Just little bits of glue. And, oh, don't fall over. 
so delicate. Just use my tweezers to help me out here. And I've got that one glued on. Oh, I like this. I'm very excited. I'm excited at how this is turning out. Do you ever get that way when, when you've got a plan in your head and you start building it and it actually works? Which makes me excited. See, the back isn't too bad either. It's still, you know, it's obviously the back of it, but oops. But it's still, you know, kind of pretty. Yeah, I'll have to ink this up a bit. Oh, I like that. Okay, so let's do the back. And then we need to... I want to start doing the pockets and stuff on the pages. I think I'm going to... Um, I usually sew in the pages and then decorate, but this time I think I am going to decorate the pages and then sew them in, just in case I want to add something else, like maybe a, an envelope or something in the signature or something hits me. Because um, oftentimes I sew it in and then I think, oh, I should have added this or I should have added that. So give myself the opportunity to change my mind. That is looking like I like it. Okay, so I do want to ink this up. Sorry guys, there's going to be a lot of inking on this one. Like I said, the, the pages are heavily inked, so I, you know, I want to keep that, that theme kind of going throughout so just go ahead and ink it like this maybe and then that'll also give it some time to to dry up because it'll be a little slippery here on that laminating sheet okay I'm liking that let's see how it looks on the front My poor sponge is all just <laughs> chewed up from inking up the pages. I have little, little sponge crumbs everywhere. What do you do? Okay. Yeah, I like that. Now we add our... Um, I need a cloth. Uh, hello. Where did all my cloths go? Oh, here's one. Just want to get some of these grits and bits off before I... There we go. Okay, so now we're going to put... Look at my hands. They're just bleh, disgusting. <laughs> okay. Let me... Just needed a little bit more. Okay, so then this... Now what side do we want? I think this side. And we will glue that right there. Okay. Good old art glitter again. I think that's probably the safest glue option because I do want it to stick very, very well. Again, you don't have to use the exact glues that you see other people do. It's just a preference. It's totally preference. Um, I just know that art glitter glue is really quite strong. So I tend to um, lean towards using that, but it is expensive. So, um, you know, if you can't afford that, then, you know, don't use it. Obviously you can get away with using some of the cheaper glues, but you know, this is going to be hold on. I mean, I don't know really what happened here. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't um, even at all. So let's try and that looks a little better. My fussy cutting skills are getting better after all of the, the cutting I did, but obviously still not great. Okay. So there we've got our little card. I do want to 
try and trim this as close as possible so we don't have any hanging out bits that will impede on it sliding in and out when we create the pocket. Okay, so there is this cute little little journaling card. Well, it's not a journaling card, sorry, a specimen card. Can't write on it. We will. Is that okay? All right, I'll stop fussing with it. I like it. Uh, right. So let's bring in our cover. Now, the most important thing that you want to remember is get your journal cover going the right way, right way up. So this way. And then for these pieces, I want to glue these on just to give it a bit more stability and a little bit of depth so that this pocket can slide in. And I think, you know, I was going to cut the tops off, but I don't think I will. I'll just glue them. That should be fine. And make sure we got this going the right way. And squidge some glue on. Now one of the other reasons I really like this art glitter glue is obviously the nozzle. It's so nice and fine so that you can glue in tight spaces. Okay, make sure this is lined up nicely. I used, um, this is just craft cardstock. I thought um, it would blend nicely. I probably should have done that for this one as well on the inside because you can kind of see the white, but oh well. We know for next time. I'm definitely wanting to do this again. I think this is turning out really cute. Okay. Gosh, we still have some nice weather here, which I'm excited about. A few little rainy days here and there, but of course that's good. We need that too. We had some smoke blow in. So with this pocket, I'm not going to have plastic in it because it'll just be like the, hmm, 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 hmm. It's going to stick out a bit. That's okay too, I guess. Just have to be very careful now when I glue this. Okay, I do want to ink. Um, don't want it to look too perfect, and I'll just tone that color down just a bit more, so it's not so so stark and bright. And this makes that stitching kind of stand out a little bit too. That stitching detail. Okay. So, oop, pin in glue. Well, we're going to use this right away. Okay. So I want this to go. Am I in the, in the middle where you guys can see? I want this to go here. So, you can see I need just a, like, very, very fine bead of glue. There, and then here, and then we just pray that it sticks nicely, but also our little specimen card can go in there nicely. All right. Now, oops, getting my head in the way again. Okay, double check that we have this the right way, yes. Last thing I want to do is glue this on upside down because that could very well happen. And right there looks good. I originally was going to just put down the flowers 
on here and then go over them with like Nubo drops. But I tried it and I didn't like the way it looked. It looked like gobby, like, uh, I could say gaudy too, but oh, is this straight? Oh, heavens to Betsy, too, too straight. Um, yeah, it just didn't look right. It looked, um, childish, if that's the word I want to use. It just, yeah, it didn't, it didn't look right. Okay, I want that to sit and catch before I decide to move stuff in and out. And I think I can turn my laminator off. Let's do that. I don't think I need that on anymore. Um, me a little bit more room there okay so that is good I've got that part done now I mean we could oh, there's another little guy there we could perhaps find our tweezers first there we go okay so I have a little piece here hanging out. Let's tuck you in here. Um, I really like these. Oh, and you need to go back in here. So let's put you in and maybe take out. Oh, I like this too. Okay, I could carefully take out. Sorry, you guys probably can't see. I like this. Ooh. Okay, let's move you out and you so yeah these flowers are dried flowers or pressed flowers whatever you want to call them um, I got them from Amazon I just searched up dried and pressed flowers and then I found just found a shop that sold them okay I want you to come out I don't necessarily want you. Oh, so delicate. Okay. What could we do here? I really like this. Hmm. Doesn't really stand out though, does it? Almost like we need, do I have burlap? I know I've got burlap somewhere. Mm. Let me just see what I have in my drawers. Oh, I also have that fake burlap that die cut ouch that I have um <laughs> sorry guys I'm just looking through some of my scraps that's Christmas you don't want that where oh where did that piece go here just a little piece. Is that going to be enough? Let's try that. Um, okay, maybe some inking. Maybe, definitely some inking. Silly, silly. Oh, there's my head again. Sorry. <laughs> How about, shall I, you do this? Let's ink this on camera. Definitely making a cool pattern on my little drop sheet here. Yeah. Okay. So there's this. If I put that like that, will that stand out a bit more? Hmm. Nope. That's cool. Just gonna 
just slide in now. Um, well, it didn't work as perfect as I liked, but it'll do. It will do. Um, <laughs> what could we do with this? If, ugh, I'm not even on camera, am I? Sorry guys, I just get so involved that I'm not watching. Okay, so I could do... Hmm. Like I feel like it needs just a little something else, you know what I mean? really like this, but I could use these on the inside. So let's tuck these back over here. Okay. And then maybe, maybe this yellow flower. Like that. Hmm. I don't know. Not too sure, guys. Um, so there it is, like that. And then just take it off. Not sure. I'm not not digging this right now. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just I'll just leave this for now. And then I can always come back and, and see if there's something else that strikes me to go in there. Is that going to go in nicely? I mean, it doesn't go all the way down, but is that really a big deal? I'm not sure. I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I just feel like I might need something here. I'm not sure, but we'll put it aside for now and then we can always come back. Okay, so let's put these away. And I'm still got to figure out what I want to put in our little purse journal. We got that cover. Oh, that doesn't go in there. Um, we got that cover pretty much done. So let's go ahead and maybe, how much time do we have? We have about 15 minutes. We can look through our, our ephemera bag here and our signatures. So there, I've got three signatures. This is the first. This is the second, and then the third. I mean, those are kind of similar, but that's okay. We've got butterfly on the corner of all three of them, if you can see. So let's start with the first signature. When we open it up. What do we want? Um... Okay, so we've got some, a little envelope. It really, I mean, this is a very neutral, neutral journal. Um, <laughs> don't think I want that. We could do this pocket. So we would have to fold on these little lines here, like this, and then fold here, and that creates a little pocket. So let's see how we like that. Can't tell till I ink it. Can't tell if I like it. I don't know what it is, it just 
finishes it off for me. Okay. There. That makes my heart happy. Yeah, I think we could put that. I think that would look nice there. Yay, we have got our ephemera. We're starting to decorate our journal. This is the exciting, fun part. I mean, all of it's fun, really. Oh, which way does this go? That could go that way, or it could go that way. I think it's supposed to go this way. Hmm. Now I don't really know if I want it on that page. Guess we could put it on this one. Yeah, that would still look nice. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. Okay. One little pocket. I feel like the count. There. Okay. Yay, one pocket. Um, and I like that the pocket goes this way actually so that things don't like fall out of your journal. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if the pocket had the opening here it would be easy for this to fall out or it'll stay inside the book this way. Okay. One pocket. Now let's Go through and see where else we would like a pocket. Definitely something here. Um, we could put something here. What else do we have? Oh, these are also the type of pockets that have these little backers to them. Is it these ones? No. Which ones is it? Um, okay, that's an envelope. Sorry, I know you guys can't see. Um, oh, was it these ones? Yeah, these ones. Okay, so... Oh, I don't like that. Nope, nope. Okay, there's got to be more little, more little pockets to play with here. Um, I think I got a piece of metal in my thumb, you guys. When I was using the rotary cutter, I was going up against that metal ruler that I have, and I think I was shaving off little pieces of, of, um, little pieces of metal and I think I got them in my thumb. That kind of hurts. Okay, so these are just little tiny ones for these little these little things, right? Yeah, okay, so then was this supposed to I mean this one didn't have to have a backer, but it this probably would have looked good behind it, right? Where is it? No, I don't like that. So there you go. Okay, this actually could be a cool journaling card. Decorate it up. So we could do that. Um, where were we? We were over here debating. Put that. No, I don't like that. Nope. But I do like that. I think that would look nice. Let's go ahead and fold our little pocket. Oops. I'm not sure what's going on upstairs, but there's pounding going on. 
Okay. You might only get two pockets done here, guys. But that's okay. We got the front of our journal done. So there's that. Now, is that folded nicely? Ow, yeah, I think I have a piece of metal in there. I have to soak my hand or something. Okay, let's... You know, this could definitely be like a double pocket, right? So we have a pocket here and a pocket here. Let's do that. I want to do a little thumb notch though. And for this thumb notch, I'm not going to use my big guy. I'm just going to use my little, what is this? I think it's a one inch little punch. And I don't want to go too deep. Okay, that looks pretty good. And of course, inking, inking. Well, this has been a lot of fun, you guys. I'm so glad that I was able to work a little bit more on this. Little bits at a time, right? I feel, some days I feel like the little engine that could. I think I can, I think I can. I think I can get this done. This is, this is kind of where the fun part comes in. Just the decorating and adding and making ephemera. These are such gorgeous digitals that you don't really have to embellish too much with them, which is nice. That'll save some time. See, we'll put this on here like this. Yes, sir, we will. Okay, very good, very good. I wonder if I was smarter, should have I done it? No, that's fine. Don't overcomplicate it. I'm gonna kind of cover that up, which is sad, but what do you do? This means I'll have to print this out again and do it different next time so I can see that little flower. That's the great thing about these digitals is you can, you know, create so many journals and each one is going to be, you know, different. You're never going to have the same journal twice, I don't think, you know, which I love. I like that somebody gets a one of a kind item. Oh my goodness. I gotta... Are you in there? I get you? I think I actually got it. Woo! Okay. Um, so yeah, this is going to go. We should probably try our best to make it straight. So let's do it maybe there. So then we're gonna have to have some tags and journaling cards to go there. So of course we don't want to glue our little thumb hole. So let's hold on to that end. And I can't, I could not do a straight glue line of my life depended on it. Holy. Okay. That should be good. And it's a little difficult because this page is not straight on the edge and I can tell that I need to ink right here. There. Makes me a bit happier. All right. So there we go. We've got another pocket. And then we'll have, you know, that can fit in there or in here. I kind of like that. Have to back these though because they're just on, on that um, laser paper. Okay, well, there's a good stroke of luck and business on this one to get it started. So I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of stop this one here. Um, go ahead and take a look. I mean, we didn't get a ton done, but, you know, we've got a good start to our cover, which I like. And then we have our two pockets in the first signature. So on there... And then, where did the other one go? 
blue one there okay well thanks so much guys for hanging out with me and letting me get some of this done and i hope you enjoyed your time with me and enjoy the rest of your day p.s i love you